Alright guys, it's John back here again with the new Zombie Strike Double Strike. And I've gone ahead and taken all these screws out of it. There are only seven of them, they're all the same. Put them in a little vortex disc for the moment. And then this whole thing should just fillet open real easy. And there we go. So, I'm just going to pop the little tack rail piece from the top here. It's out of the way so it doesn't jump out. But other than that, everything is pretty well held in place. And just like some of the other blasters, it's almost completely functional, even though it's open. So, um, as far as what's actually going on here, it's very, very similar to the way the hammer shot's set up. We've got our spring sitting back here, although I believe the hammer shot one was actually uh, flayed at the end a little bit, but... You know, the hammer action pulls it back. There is really not much of a catch on this. If we look in there, the whole system actually, the hammer part just catches on where the trigger actually is, and the trigger itself acts as the catch for it, so there's no separate catch in the system. It uses the same style uh, piston system that the other ones have used. We'll slide this out and you can see we've got the uh, the piston piece on the rotating arm here so that it can move to meet the angles but as far as everything's going on back in here that's really the only thing we do have this uh, this stiff rubber uh, o-ring sitting up here that's acting as a kind of shock stop here for when it hits against this uh, this retention post uh, and our actual plunger tube itself. We can see down in there we've got an awful lot of dead space it looks like, but we're gonna pop this open and take a look at it because I suspect that the that spacing in there is probably mostly required for the functioning of this air restrictor. So there's just a pair of screws up on the front here. Alright, looks like that's fairly well stuck in there. So, we're gonna try to poke it out. Wedge it a little bit from each side, it's pretty stiff. There we go. Alright, so... Here we have the air restrictor system. And this would be the the top barrel here, the long uh, the one with the longer post. So when we have a dart in there, the air restrictor pushes back and it opens up the pathway for the air to go out the top barrel. And when the air restrictor is closed, you can see here where the spring is going into. It appears that the air is then able to flow down through there and out the other barrel. So it looks like probably unfortunately with how everything's set up in here you might be able to get away with filling the back side of this to decrease the amount of dead space in here but this top half you're going to want to try to leave this as open as possible that's the main air path for both of them but it's again nice to see that they're making some creative uses for this uh these new style air restrictors but unfortunately, looking at this thing in its entirety, I don't believe there is too much potential for this thing being more than what it is. I believe it's going to be pretty hard to find a replacement spring for this. So, I think this is just going to have to sit in the, uh, the pile of, hey, it's pretty good, but it's probably not worth tinkering with. Which is unfortunate, I like tinkering, but... I think that's about it. That's what's going on with the uh, with the double strike guys. So, yep. Thanks for watching.